In terms of viruses, um, what do we do? want to do to protect about them? What, what can we do? Uh, what kind of protection have we got? Can we get? Um, basically, uh, Fred Cohen's original uh, academic work have never has never been improved upon. There, there's variations on uh, the theme, but um, basically, you've got three possibilities here, and it's it's interesting to look at um, network uh, protection scanning when we get to um, the uh, network and communications uh, domain. Um, that again, it's it's three and and basically the same three. There is known signature scanning that you have a a signature that specifically and uniquely identifies a particular virus. Uh, this particular piece of code comes with this virus. It only comes with this virus. Um, we. Uh, you know, we can identify it. We know uh, what the virus does from the fact that we know what the virus does. Uh, we have studied the, the characteristics uh, enough um, uh, to uh, to register uh, a signature. You know, we've looked at the code. Um, we know what it is. Um, then there is um, activity monitoring, uh, behavior uh, detection, um, uh, sometimes behavior prevention, um, but you know, basically, it's it's the activity. We don't know what this virus is, um, but we know that this type of activity is dangerous. This type of activity is uh, something that should not be seen in a normal um, program, and therefore, uh, yes, this this program is uh, malicious or is a a virus um, there uh, you know it, it's it's only you know a, a piece of malware that is going to do this uh, type of function in in most cases now it, there are certain utilities um, that are uh, going to do this I, I was doing a, a long-term test on one particular uh, antivirus and I was using uh, another program I you know I was just leaving it running to to see uh, uh, what kind of problems might result um, and uh, I happened to be using a a word processor because it had a, a good um, file management component um, to uh, manage uh, uh, clean up copy move uh, files around and also delete some and and the uh, antivirus uh, activity monitor in this case uh, decided that a word processor should not be able to delete files uh, at least not executable files and so it shut down the word processor when I tried to do that it was an interesting uh, experience uh, but again you know is is this function dangerous um, we do not know uh, what the program is uh, we cannot uniquely identify as we could with a signature but we have uh, seen that the, the function is dangerous therefore um, we will flag an alert or we will prevent the operation in, in that particular case it was preventing the operation um, you know now another um, type of detection is change detection um, sometimes uh, referred to as integrity monitoring I'm, I'm not sure that I really like the, the name integrity monitoring um, uh, this is um, has become more widely used um, initially um, you know it might be looking at uh, is there a change in the size of the file is there a change in uh, something to do with the file is there a change in uh, a hash of of the file um, as I mentioned uh, the word perfect word processor did a self-check every time you started it up has you know uh, the the executable file changed 
and if it had, uh, then it, it complained about that. Um, so um, that has um, been much more widely used. And again, when we uh, talk about cryptography and we talk about digital signatures, and also uh, when we're talking about network um, uh, activity um, and security um, in those domains, we're going to look at digital signatures. And again, we take a hash of the executable file, uh, we ensure that it hasn't been changed. And, and we sign um, those hashes uh, to ensure that they can't be changed, they can't be modified, and also um, determine um, who was it that created the file in the first place, who is, who is responsible, who is, you know, has the authority uh, and uh, possibility of, of making modifications, of saying, yes, you know, uh, we have made a change and, and we, you know, now sign that uh, with this new uh, uh, hash or size or whatever it is uh, that we're doing with that. So, um, you know, the changes uh, that we have there. Uh, so, okay. Um, we've our known signature scanning. We've we've got the the signatures of known objects. Um, and and again, you know, we can go farther than just uh, looking at at viruses and programs here. You know, is uh, have we got the program code? Um, what about packets? What about ports? What about memory? Again, you know, we use this in a variety of ways. Um, uh, we have the uh, uh, activities, uh, the, the signatures of an attack. Uh, that you know, as I say, we're going to talk about this one. Get into uh, network scanning, network protection, um, and uh, the. Um, uh, well, you know, we've we've got to do a fair amount of, of updating of the signatures. The signatures uh, themselves have to be uh, fined, in a sense, to make sure that, yeah, you know, we're, uh, we know that this is uh, the appropriate um, uh, uh, signature for the virus. Um, and, and we've always had uh, problems uh, with uh, some companies who decide, you know, oh, we'll, we'll say that this is dangerous, um, you know, so that uh, people will, will trust our, uh, our systems, uh, will think that we're doing uh, a good job. But um, if, if we don't, uh, you know, if they don't verify that, that this is in fact dangerous, then, you know, they're kind of polluting the, the base of signatures there. Uh, so we're going to have to update the signatures regularly. Uh, we're going to have um, false negatives here if we don't have a signature for a new virus. So, you know, that is something that we, we've got to watch out for. Um, uh, activity monitoring. I mean, you know, this is going to be the same as auditing. Uh, processing lots of things here. Um, oh, uh, heuristic scanning that I should mention. Um, it, uh, heuristics is, is kind of a signature, but it's, it's looking for a signature of a particular function. And, and so uh, the heuristic scanning uh, that people were pushing for a while, um, it's, not, um, it's not a different type of signature. It, it is more closely akin to the activity monitoring because we're looking for a signature of that activity, not um, something uh, else. So, not something specific. Again, um, you're going to have a fairly high uh, false positive rate because you don't know what it is that you're actually checking there. Um, and uh, in terms of the change detection, uh, I mean, you know, this is, this is going to find any virus, but it's going to find a lot of other changes too. And unfortunately, uh, the vendors and, and systems manufacturers these days have decided to go headlong into changing all kinds of things. So unfortunately, not something that we can uh, really rely on these days.